Hello and welcome to the NH Parents Podcast. Mm -hmm. um, this is our our podcast that we're titling hashtag goals. I didn't know we were going to put With that Z. externally. I think I, I think thought we're that gonna... was just internal <laughs> communication. Oh gosh. Do you? We can we no, start? I'm happy with it. Let's live with it. Why not? All right. Uh, yeah, we were. We have been mm -hmm. processing for the fall, mm -hmm. and it's a goals game, right? It's all about uh, mm -hmm. thinking through where you've been, what you've learned, and where you're headed. And so, um, you know, we're going to encourage you, parents of New Hope, to have those same conversations at the end. So brace yourself for that. Um, but let's let's start off. Right at the beginning here, uh, my name's Leroy, mm -hmm. and I am the pastor of Kids Community, so that's zero through fifth grade. Yep. And beside me, I have... I'm Nathan. I'm the pastor of Student Community, which is sixth through twelfth grade, and sometimes it gets a little, I don't know, obscure after that. I hang out with college you, students also sometimes. You don't shun yeah. them immediately. Yeah, I don't just like, you're done, out, graduation's out. over. I yeah. am sorry. <laughs> this is where this relationship ends. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. They're a fun <laughs> bunch for sure. They're great. All right, so yeah. a lot of this mm -hmm. is all about this COVID season mm -hmm. that transformed everything. I know that it shook it shook what I do kind of to the foundations and ask, um, caused us to ask all sorts of questions. So I thought yeah. we could first just talk a little bit about what we've been up to, mm -hmm. so that we can kind of preface all of these things that we've learned and, and and where we're headed from there. So um, do you want to start? Just talk a little sure. bit about youth group yeah, during the COVID we season. What, what are some of the things yeah. that happened? Well, I mean, yeah, my whole world definitely got shaken up. Yeah. I got married. Right. Went on my honeymoon to New Zealand. Beautiful place. Go if you can, if they'll ever let us back in. <laughs> um, but yeah, went to New Zealand. And then like, as we were like coming back, got the news like, oh, there's no church this Sunday. And like, oh. And so like went from this high moment to like two weeks of expecting sort of normalcy right. to like a year and a half <laughs> of nothing. Well, I mean, you are you made it back in. We made it back in. Yeah, like it was so perfect. Like all that. <laughs> if you ever want to talk about that, it was such a blessing <laughs> for Sarah and myself. But yeah, it, it started out like I think most of us started out of two weeks to flatten the curve. Yeah, like, we're yeah. gonna figure this out, and, and it was like was twenty-one like, days. Yeah, we're like twenty-one days, and we'll get this yeah. figured out. I remember driving uh, down the freeway. I, uh, I think with my wife. I might have just been by myself. Who knows? But anyways, and just remarking of like, oh, it's been like a whole month since things have shut down. Like this is crazy. It's so oh, weird. Yeah. And how quick that month went. <laughs> and it did. Like it's been like a super long yet super short blur of. I don't know. <laughs> Terrible and then it became normal yeah. in some weird way. and Yeah. But yeah, ministry-wise, though, yeah, I, I feel like there was an initial, I don't know, feeling of like two weeks to flatten the curve. And it's just like, okay, we'll hold on, and then we'll be back in person, and we'll figure it out, and we'll worry about moving out of the, the church building and stuff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that then, thing. Then, yeah. <laughs> then, then that realization happened of like, oh, no, like we're in this, this for is a us. bit. And yeah. so had to make some decisions on like, Okay, how are we going to actually operate in this instead of just maintaining for a, a short time? Uh, and we leaned heavily into online stuff, right? mm -hmm. just not really knowing what else we could do. Like we weren't yeah. legally able to do much else, so we went heavy into that. Uh, we started streaming the church service as well as like a little student devotional after that every Sunday. Uh, initially during the pandemic, we had... Google Hangouts Monday through Thursday. <laughs> you did a lot of Hangouts. I did a lot of Google. Because I had Monday, Wednesday was for middle schoolers, and Tuesday, Thursday was for high schoolers. And I, yeah, I guess my approach to it was sort of just like, this is all, like, this is catastrophic thing going on. Like, yeah. sort of triage, like, be yeah. there yeah. available at least as often as we can. Um, and then we'd also Twitch stream, like, playing video games with, me and students right, online right. and stuff. Just for connection. Yeah, sure. just for like connection and having some fun and levity together. Um, and that went fairly well for a bit. Uh, through the summer, I would say, that went fairly right. well through right. that first summer. Uh, and then school started up. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they had 
multiple hours a day every day that they were expected to be on Zoom. Uh, and I've experienced this. I'm sure you've experienced this. <laughs> yes, I'm sure yes. most of you experience this of just like Zoom fatigue yeah. of like, yeah, praise Jesus, we have this technology where we can connect, but like I am exhausted. Yeah. And so like, yeah, I didn't pressure any student ever to be online more than they were obligated <laughs> to be. <laughs> Because, like, how could you? And yeah. so, yeah, we definitely dipped. So we we drew back how frequently we met on staff. Well, um, and I saw this in youth groups all over yeah, the place. Everyone was yeah. experienced. Like, I think that age group was hit really mm-hmm. hard yeah. with that reality that it's just like, I don't want to do church this way Yeah. at, at some point. And, yeah. and, a lot of ch- and a lot of churches were pulling back and trying to reinvent youth group. That was tough. Yeah. And, yeah. I, I don't know of any that were like, this was awesome. Like, like, this is did, the greatest yeah, thing. Th- like, there wasn't one sitting out there with the formula. Yeah, yeah. N- and nobody, I don't I don't know of any church. There may be one that has like weathered this. Yeah. And has been like, yeah, we're going to keep doing it that way. <laughs> but it's like, no. No, <laughs> no this is the new not. way. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, um, we responded pretty... I, I think pretty quickly, my team was just like all over it. And we were really, really trying to answer the question of, of like, how do we help parents um, mm-hmm. in and in, in churching during this time? Because um, a lot of them, you know, counted on at least that time of them attending church for their kids to have a program that specifically helped them. And then there, there would be some separation there, right? So um, it's fine for a regular adult to say, oh, I'm just going to watch the online service on Sunday. It's a whole nother mm-hmm. game. If you've got two or three or four yeah. little ones running around, or in my case, six, <laughs> it's hilarious. Like sure. Sundays was just bizarre. Yeah. And so that was that was a big call for us. And so we responded by, yeah, putting out um, Sunday content that they could watch anytime mm-hmm. that weekend. So we, yeah. we would usually post it on Fridays and they could watch it anytime after that. Um, just for that flexibility uh, alone. And then we, we were really deliberate about um, those videos containing a lot of us. So um, Christine and Tabitha and myself were in like all of those videos because yeah. we were just like, we want them to see yeah. the church and remember that we exist, mm-hmm. right? These little kids, um, that's some of their only relationships um, outside of the home. And then and then it, we got thinking about just the, the heaviness and responsibility that a lot of these parents were going through. Um, and it was, it was a real learning, learning thing for myself on just like, how am I being deliberate about the discipleship of my children at home? And now I have to, I can't pretend yeah. somebody else is doing it anymore. Um, but that's a, that's a huge step and it's a huge calling. And so we just wanted to find ways to equip that so that we, you know, we launched the five, which was our program to, um, you know, we put out devotionals five days a week, that all you had to do was watch. We wanted to make that really easy and accessible for everyone, just to encourage them. Like, take any step. Do you know? Do a few minutes with your your kids, yeah. and that's a win. You yeah. know, um, to do encourage them, and then and then we um, we tried to have an in person component where mm-hmm. where monthly they could come and pick up kids, mm-hmm. and we'd throw candy at them, and they could do their memory verses with us, and 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 I had a really cool group of volunteers that basically did every one of those yeah. pickup events so that they could see the kids yeah. and spend a little bit of time with them mm-hmm. because we really couldn't do much. Um, and I, and I think we had a lot of wins and it was, it was what it was, you know, would we do the same thing again? Probably not. I mean, we, we'd make some improvements, but sure. it was, uh, it was an adventure for sure. And then mm-hmm. we did have monthly zooms. We did yeah. try to do that with the kids. Actually, I think we were doing two, a month mm-hmm. originally yeah. um and I, I think we saw the same thing maybe not to the same degree but mm-hmm. we had successful zooms i think all the way up to like november mm-hmm. maybe in december yeah. the beginning of december and then it just yeah. you know just plummeted yeah. and it was a lot and then you know by february march we were starting to do in person again and i think there was kind of a like really are we still doing this <laughs> is that really what we want to do and um so yeah it was it was a good time to sit down and start reevaluating where we're going and that's what this goals conversation yeah. is all about um so tell me uh, a few things that you've learned during yeah. that process yeah, yeah yeah i think yeah 
I'll start off with the negative one. Yeah. Uh, and not negative in like some big way. Right, right. Of just like, I'm not an entertainer. <laughs> like, that's that's not my job. I thought you were going to just use this as your launch point that to was, your that was YouTube the initial, Twitch career. I feel like this is like a little too <laughs> intimate of sharing maybe, but like you get those like stupid little dreams those in your moments, head. moments, you're like, like, maybe I'll blow up. <laughs> and I won't lie like that, that we all we happen. all want yeah. that I know I get you yeah. well, I don't know that I want that like, <laughs> but, yeah but I'm not an entertainer right? yeah and yeah. I shouldn't be like yeah if I that was what my energy was going towards I should be in a different career field, right right like, yeah that's not what we're here to do uh-uh. um yeah yeah hopefully we're not overly boring like hopefully we're not yeah it's okay to be entertaining, I think, without selling out to like this is that's not the this thing. is the thing. That, yeah, yeah right? that's not the thing. Avoiding yeah. that. And so it definitely felt a bit like that, especially with the Twitch streams that we were doing. Mm-hmm. Where it was me on camera and the game on camera. And there was interaction still with mm-hmm. students there. But it's just like, yeah, just me doing this thing. It's like this isn't what we're here for. Right. Uh, we're not here just to entertain and we can't compete in that space, no you will right? not win we'll lose uh <laughs> and we'll make fools of ourselves doing it like and i think lots of yeah well and you'll yeah. lose sight of the discipleship yeah like we yeah. really want that to be the focus and and discipleship mm-hmm. isn't easy entertainment is generally easy yeah right and discipleship's yeah. not yeah and so yeah for sure and so yeah that's the the negative right like negative being like don't do that <laughs> Um, the, yeah. the more positive things that I've taken away from that is just, I think, a universal understanding of the need to be embodied with other people mm-hmm. um, and fairly universal, like people who would call themselves in, themselves introverts, which would include myself. Like right. I can go a lot of, long time without talking to people and be perfectly happy, but like I, learned, year I need to be around people, <laughs> right? Like, I may just sit there quietly in my corner, but I need to be around people. No, there's not, yeah, yeah, there's nothing about that. There's something very much about that energy, for sure. Yeah, and so, yeah, just as a, that's something we need to be focused on. Like, I think online will always have mm-hmm. a component. Well, I mean, until online becomes obsolete and who knows what's right. next. It's, it's um, jacking directly into yeah. our <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but it's going to be a component of just, church stuff for a while yeah uh and we still have some of it uh we started a minecraft server for students yeah online and like students still play on that regularly because right. minecraft's, minecraft's great. forever man. and like that that's one of the cool things that's come from it is like students who never really talked to each other ever before like they organize their own little google hangouts and stuff to play minecraft together okay the yeah and so yeah it's just super fun like the these students have like become friends. Oh, it has evolved. Yeah, it's taking its own life. That's, yeah, that's and so really cool. it will be a component, but like it's not going to be yeah. the thing. Praise Jesus. Um, and then the other one is coming out of this season where I don't know. The church talks a lot about like it's not the building. And yeah, it's not the staff. Like it's all of us. Yes. Um, yes. And I think we believe that, and I think we put energy into that, but. Yeah, at the end of the day, sometimes it is just easier for me to just get the job done. Right. And not Not invite. Yeah, Yeah, it it is easier. (laughs) It's simpler for sure. And so, yeah, just the coming out of a season where the only option for people has been to be spectators. Um, Like, you couldn't participate really if you wanted to, right? Like, you can enter the chat, and that's about it. Um, And, like, there are some small areas where people could if they had expertise or something right but like yeah moving out of this space just has emphasized for us and then for the church more globally Mm -hmm. meaning new hope all are all around just like our need to be equipping people to do the work yeah Um, yeah those have been kind of the calls of action for our church i know Mm -hmm. like the conversation about like how important is online for us yeah is a big one and 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 i think I think as a staff, we've just decided that it is a great tool, and mm-hmm. we'll use it where it makes sense. Yeah. But um, our our goal is to be together. Yeah. Um, wh- no matter how big of a yeah. group that really represents, and um, you know, we did what we needed to during mm-hmm. 
during quarantine, but that's not ultimately what God wants for us in relationship yeah. with each other. I think the big yeah. things that um, um, I myself or, or my team took away from this process is uh, you can't do enough community building. Yeah. Um, yeah. We, uh, it's, it's hard to venture out as a family with kids. Mm-hmm. Um, it's hard to build relationships. It's it's almost impossible sometimes to get into a small group that mm-hmm. works with your family, the yeah. times, the the other couples, the yeah. child care scenarios. Um, you know, depending on if you have a young kid or an older mm-hmm. kid, how flexible mm-hmm. you become. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, that's um, that's tough. And so, anything we can do as a kids community, as New Hope, to um, to get together and to um, support and encourage and live life mm. together is just so valuable, and it's and it's got, it's been one of our, our values. You know, like um, sharing His love in our in our mission statement is all about that 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 relationship yeah. aspect. And in kids, we we actually talk about relationships that lead to discipleship. Mm-hmm. So we want to be building a better community. And 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 I look as I look back on pre COVID. I don't know if we did enough, right? Mm-hmm. Like maybe, maybe you always have that kind of right. like hindsight yeah. mentality, but I do, I just, yeah. um, I, I think, um, it became really clear who was connected and who wasn't mm-hmm. and just how hard that is yeah. and building community in a COVID scenario, mm-hmm. super hard. So yeah. it was really, um, it's really great as we look forward to think about community building. And then, uh, and I think, I think this is kind of universal, but, um, for kids, we knew that um, parents are the most important discipler mm. of their kids. Yeah. But we, as a children's ministry, lived otherwise. I, and mm. I don't, it was unintentional, I, but we made a big deal about Sundays. Yeah. Like it was a big production. Yeah. And, and, and it's a, when you see the kids, like it totally we, makes sense. We, I right? spent like all the energy, yeah. you know, like 90% mm-hmm. of our efforts mm-hmm. went to making Sunday mornings for kids go off Mm -hmm. and um it's absolutely important but Mm -hmm. it is not the most important thing every day and that's Mm -hmm. you know we did those devotionals because every day is important um and so i think as we were looking at those two things that's shaping Mm -hmm. where we're headed as a kids ministry and and i think it like it's interlocked with what the church as a whole is doing um we're we're talking a lot about setting up next steps mm-hmm. for our families. Mm-hmm. And those next steps can be relational community building steps. They can be prayer or Bible study or uh, just like all the different aspects of faith and just like pushing that into the week. Yeah. We're going to continue saying that. Like, can we push yeah. this into the week and how can we do that? And so we, we're spending a lot of time right now just like planning and plotting. Like, how can we set families up to just take their spiritual walk to the next step every day of the week in some way, little, little ways. Maybe it starts with one day a week, but yeah. um, we don't want, we don't want to live as if Sunday's the be all. And so that's, that's definitely changing our focus. Um, how about you? What's uh, next yeah, season? Next season. Yeah. Emphases moving forward. I mean, embodiment mm-hmm. obviously yeah. is one of them and one, that we have partial control over, mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. guess, maybe. <laughs> I think the illusion of control has been somewhat lifted, right. obviously. Well, um, and you have the freedom to do it. Now, yeah. Right? That's yeah. The... Assu- yeah. We're recording this a little bit earlier mm-hmm. than this is being released. And so we assume that, that it will things continue, will continue to, be to get better. That would be a terrible twist. Right? <laughs> yeah. And I don't expect it. At yeah, all. yeah. Yeah. But like, yeah. So just as we are able to do more and more, that we're going to do more and more and mm-hmm. more and more in person, again, for the sake of community building, mm-hmm. right? For both those who have been, I don't know, lightly involved at church uh, to get more involved at church. But then, yeah. like, lots of people during this time just had nobody mm-hmm. um, and, like, didn't have any even tenuous relationship to people. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, getting those students there. So they at least know somebody. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I mean, pretty standard ministry stuff and student ministry stuff, but just 
embracing that as we're able to be embodied. And then with the equipping one, mm, um, mm-hmm. just, yeah, turning, I don't know, giving students more and more responsibility and, like, actual responsibility and actual right. say in what goes on and obviously not just, like, turning over everything to them. Right. But just, like, oh, like, your opinions matter and your perspectives matter. Um, and, like, you can do these things, so do these things. Oh, yeah. yeah, and that's so huge. I mean, I found a lot of my spiritual gifting mm. during that time yeah. of kids. And it wasn't because, um, you know, cleaning up after, setting up before yeah. was the future for me as a yeah. gift. But, um, yeah, just trying it out yeah. and um, being around it and, and finding stuff you really don't like yeah. is, is, is valid. Yeah, right? <laughs> Yeah. Well, and I think uh, we uh, are processing these things, mm-hmm. um, our goals, uh, to uh, to try to take us into this next season together. And we just wanted to talk through that. Um, so uh, to encourage you, to encourage you to uh, do that same thing with both yourself, uh, maybe maybe your spouse and 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 your family as a whole um knowing your your kids knowing that you are actively looking forward for their Mm -hmm. spiritual growth is a win like you don't have to land on all the answers but anytime you uh you show your deliberate interest Mm -hmm. and uh and encourage that so um yeah so there's your challenge uh take some time and think about what your next season of spiritual growth, your spiritual goals um, looks like, and um, if if it's um, if it's just you personally doing some goals um, that kind of branch out for your family, mm-hmm. that's great. Yeah. Um, don't let uh, don't let small progress um, deter you. Like sometimes we, yeah. we say is like we it's not a big enough step. step. Yeah, 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 it's better to take a big step or no step at all. Yeah. That's not true. Nope. So. Um, yeah, and the personal thing is yeah. huge, like within the family. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just because like if you're showing that it's actually of value to yourself. Like, yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't have to start out as like a we're all getting together. And right, doing this right. Thing. I think that's why I was yeah, yeah, yeah trying yeah. to get yeah. at yeah. right yeah. is for sure. if you set some goals for yourself, you can share those. And be like, these are mine. Mm-hmm. This is where I want to do it. And yeah. just modeling for yeah. now. Modeling yeah. is enough too. So Same whatever too. the next step, whatever small step that may be. Um, take it and we uh, we just want to encourage you and we will uh, see you around thanks for listening and yeah yeah, we'll check you out next month yeah all right bye